Texas. I can't remember. But yeah, I met him there and, and you know, we were we just took a conversation. I took him out to lunch and then he showed me these chips. And I, I knew at that point he kind of explained some thermal chips and then we did some demos for the fuel chips. And uh, at that point, I was not leaving without them. So I, I bought like a, a 20 of them from him right there on the spot. And yes. we began to form a relationship. And so uh, I was just really amazed by it. It got to the point that maybe a year and a half later after that, um, I was working, working for yeah. a major automotive company here in Ohio, uh, a big, yeah. big company, sixth largest automotive company in North America. And I told my plant manager about it. And I was so convinced I got pretty good credibility. He said, well, if it can do all that, I want you to you know, bring him here. Maybe he can help us out. Well, tell me what it does. Tell me what it does. Give me your first-hand experience. I mean, Halidium is is advertised with us now, and give us give us what your experience of yeah, the. Uh, what else about it? Still happening to this day. If you take this uh, chip and put the frequencies inside of this chip, and it uses uh, this new quantum technology, but you just put put it. It's the size of a postage stamp, and there's a technology available where you can actually now put frequencies in there. And what it does is he discovered, and he wasn't the only one. There were other scientists that worked on it a little bit before him, but he kind of perfected the wow. final frequencies. But he removes as the anti-frequency, basically, for all of the toxins and pollutants that are in, contained in fuel. And by basically embedding, in layman terms, embedding the inverse frequency, say for uh, carbon, carbon monoxide, if it's got a frequency of, say, 146 hertz, you embed a frequency of a negative 146 hertz, then you cancel it out. And you just have and this. It's, it's just a, this is in a holographic label. It's like a holographic stamp. That's yeah. the that's the technology, right? That is. And you know, use the holograms to uh, the holograms actually to project it. And I think even at that point, several years ago, when I first met Thunder, we were playing around with it. It only would project a nine-inch field. So you actually had to have that chip, you know, either taped to your gas tank or within six to nine inches of your gas tank in order to project it. I know he's progressed a long way now, and now we actually we can project up to a 10-foot field. So basically, you, and, and what it does is it, not only does it uh, eliminate the toxins and pollutions that are contained in fuel, and actually the, the effects are almost immediate. It's not immediate. Within three minutes, you can see the difference. You can smell the difference just by looking at the fuel and smelling at the fuel. And within three minutes of applying this technology to your fuel tank, instead of nasty, stinky vapors coming out of your uh, uh, exhaust pipe, it just turns into clear, just just clear air and water vapor leaking. That's the only emission, you know. And actually, uh, I know we had problems getting a, it tested with the EPA. They didn't want to pass it uh, because there were no emissions to be measured, so they, they didn't want it on the road. And there's a lot of some controversy involved with it, but it, it, it simply works, you know. And for people that are in favor of a cleaner environment, and that's what the scientists behind it, and that was Thunder's intent. You know, we're not trying to make a whole lot of money or trying to save people uh, fuel costs, but that's just an instant byproduct. You're gonna probably save 10 to 20% of your fuel uh, economy, because basically you're burning like pure fuel. If you're putting in 87% grade fuel, well, by the time it treats your, your fuel and it's going through your carburetors and it combusts at the level that it does, you're actually uh, you're, you're burning a higher grade of fuel without having to pay for it, and you get better fuel economy as a result of it. And if you can go take it to a, a EPA and have your exhaust tested before and after, and he's done dozens of tests, um, I, well, I, I, and it's just obvious. I mean, you see it and smell it, but there's a way to chemically or scientifically measure it. It just works. I I, I put one on my car. I've got a I've got a hybrid. And I put one on my car, and we had a, a tester right there, and it was uh, it was amazing. I mean, we had to get underneath the car and sort of take this thing to I don't know if it's the exhaust pipe or the actual muffler, and uh, we had a uh, we had a one of those carbon dioxide checks. It's basically a smog check right there, and it and it, it cut the it cut the ratio by some crazy degree, like sixty percent or something. We we just went to, uh, just went down on it. So it's uh, it's it's really. It's really stupendous stuff. So, well, anyway, so uh, more ahead. than that, more, yeah. more than that, we brought it into our plant, and we've got like maybe forty forklifts running around, and they're all running on propane. Right. If you put one of these chips on a propane tank, actually, we measured it, we tested it for uh, fourteen days of running the forklifts twenty-four hours around the clock. The uh, this technology really likes propane because actually our Fuel efficiencies were between, uh, we say, between 27 to 43 percent on propane fuel. Yeah. 
Wow. Had my engineer walking around, and he literally, without being vulgar, he scratched his head and he said, you know, WTF. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> well, we're you know, we're advertising these on the uh, you know on the network and on the program, and uh, it's look, it's stuff that it's stuff that works. I, it's 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 holographic technology. It really is the future. Uh, you know, a lot of this stuff too was coming from them taking simple water and infusing the water with a, a holographic engram and creating drugs actually, for, you know, for out of water. And uh, and of course, this got shut down because you would put the entire you put the entire pharmaceutical industry out, which is uh, and of course they spent billions on advertising for uh, uh, for you know for diseases that you've never diseases you've never heard of and treatments that you can't pronounce. So it's uh, uh, it's you know it's funny when I watch these ads on the TV, which is like uh, deafness, blindness, uh, anal leakage, and death are side effects. And I would think that death would probably be more than the side effect; it would be the end result. <laughs> but uh, but uh, go ahead, Daryl. Sorry. Looking forward to the future because actually the same technology that we can do that with fuel. Um, and now I'm not. I think Gary. I don't think you know, Thunder would mind me mentioning it, but you know the same can be applied to medications and prescription medications. To where if somebody's got um, some type of a disease, you can actually isolate the frequency for it and put the same uh, uh, inverse frequency inside of a hologram. And now actually, and he's got this, where now you can put a glass of water on top of a disc that's got the hologram in it, and it puts that frequency in the water. You drink your water, and there's your medication. You don't have to go see a doctor. Well, it's, and that's the, that's the basis of, uh, of homeopathy. Well, and of course, there were so many more people that were involved in, uh, there were as many holy homeopathy doctors and, of course, uh, alleopathy which is the application of drugs, one, because the pharmaceutical companies were able to basically fund all medical schools and provide them with, uh, with scholarships, and so they just took over. Whereas more people were using homeopathy where the whole concept was you just want a trace element of less being more. And uh, they still sell, they still sell uh, some homeopathy. Uh, if you're starting to get a cold, they, they sell something called, and I can never pronounce it, but it's asacillium, I think is what it's called. And it's just these little, it's these little grains, these little, almost like sugar beads that you put underneath your tongue. And uh, uh, it's supposed to uh, stave off flu. There's another powder, which is called Pro Boost, which is actually called Phymic A, which is one of the best things out there that I, I talked about in my lecture that you guys saw, my, my life hack lecture of how to stay, uh, of how to stay well. So, um, well, thank you for, for giving us that, because once again, Holidium is advertising on, uh, on our network. Yes, and, uh, you know, uh, Thunder has been a great friend and a great supporter and he's in Austin now, I think. And he's doing great. I think he just sold like, uh, you know, he just came up with like $25,000 worth of sales. And this was just in the, uh, just in the last few days. So he's cranking up with, uh, Polydium distributors. And of course you get it, you know, just listen to the, uh, listen to the adverts on, uh, on this program. And, uh, as I said, he's, it really, it's a real deal. Yeah, it is. It is, it is a real deal. And it, and it cuts your, it cuts your emissions. It, it, uh, uh, is reported to save on on gasoline and cut emissions and and make the world in generally a better place. And I know he's got other applications for it, but uh, oh, I could tell you stories. Well, tell me a story. Well, I, I'll give you one example. You know, okay. uh, uh, we, we he got here sometime I think in mid July, and uh, it's hot here in Ohio in July. So that day he stayed here with me. He stayed at my house for three days. So the next morning after we uh, just kicking it in my backyard, he was singing. He can sing. He likes to sing. Uh, but we went to the plant, and it was like 93 degrees when we got there. We took a thermal reading uh, right outside my HR manager's window in the, in the outdoors. His windows was reading at 106 degrees, something like that. So we went inside, and we took some more temperature readings using you know, laser therm thermals. We walked into our cafeteria. And our air vents were blowing. The temperature for the air vents was like 68 degrees. And we tested like three, three of the vents. And that's as cool as we could make it. You know, they were cranked all the way up, but it's hot. And this is a pretty large size cafeteria. So he takes one of the chips. This is we call it this the thermal chip. And they have a program in there where you can kind of tell it where you want it to normalize at. So, and again, we've got a small entourage there. My plant managers there, our, our engineers and other people, that, you know, everybody's dying to see thunder in this technology. So we give him a ladder, and he goes up and he puts one chip on just one of the uh, metal vents. And we're standing there with a the thermal laser, still reading the temperature. In less than 60 seconds, 
the temperature started dropping. In less than two minutes, it went from 63 degrees to 42 degrees. Wow. Wow. Yeah, which means now we don't have to burn as much electricity to try to cool the plant because it normalizes a lot earlier. Because what he did with that particular chip, he embeds the frequency for gold into it. And with gold being the best conductor of electricity, everything's operating at optimum efficiency. And, and really, literally, at this point, I, I swear to God, my, my, our best engineer, and I call this guy Albert Einstein because he's just that brilliant. He's a the problem. But he looked at that, he said, what the fuck? And he walked away. <laughs> Can't be cursed. All right, uh, Daryl and Rochelle, I want to say thank you for joining me. Uh, uh, give us your details for your show. Give us your website, details for your show. www.truecatradio. It's the Daryl show. We are on Tuesdays from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. Have okay, man, pleasure. pleasure having both of you. All the well. Thanks. Be blessed. Rochelle, big kiss to you. Uh, we'll Bye. see you soon. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Sean. All right, we'll be back with more stuff on Strange Universe Radio after this. Well, it sounds like I'm going to have to do a uh, Daryl Nichols uh, interview. That would be uh, quite an interview, interesting interview. Let's see if um, in just a moment we get another ad punch. Listen to Revolution Radio at freedomsource.com. We'll be right back after this message.